Finally, my salvias are popping out. It's been, uh, I think, about two weeks now. Got my new grill at last. It's very dirty, so it needs to be cleaned. But there it is. Loves it. I love it. So I'm gonna have to move the table out there once the roofing people are out the way. They had to move these light posts because this was all like filthy here. So there it is. It's quite an intense bold color. My brother was clearing out the branches from the hurricane. We're trying to do some cleanup so it looks better. But there it is. Finally repaired. Peace of mind. Look how filthy I am. <laughs> Guess what I was doing? Preparing the garden. So I extended it out a bit bigger on all sides. And I kind of am planning to make it like an imperfect shape because I want this like little area to be able to still step in and like water and you know, I don't want it to be a perfect square. It still kind of needs to be um, straightened out better, but I'll work on that. But I was using that little device scrape and flatten this as much as it could because it was very moundy. It's not perfect either but once I put the topsoil it's not going to be noticeable. And I was pulling all the weeds, taking all the garbage out and I threw away the rosemary bush that was here because it was dead from the hurricane so I'm going to replant my new bush. So it's a work in progress but I'm very satisfied and I think this is big enough for every seed I want to plant. I'm already going to start preparing my March seeds now. Right now I'm working on these for my mother. She's away on a trip, so I'm doing her a favor. I'm just responsible for spraying the tops of these once a day with some water, which what I should have done to my petunias. That's why they died. So you don't overwater them. That's kind of like a little trick or secret, I guess. You know, it's not really a secret, but you know what I mean. Yeah, just a bit. Like this. And then let's see. These are my... Whatchamacallum. Lord of Mercy, I forgot the name. Uh, there's the, the Salvias. The Salvias. So I'm gonna spray those too. I decided to also do this with these. how long they take though like seriously like we're not ready for planting until May yeah salvias of course I have the name right there <laughs> I am Captain Obvious <coughs> I was just I went to the store and I bought <coughs> excuse me Bought these new gloves. <coughs> I seem to have a little cough. And I bought orange and yellow marigolds to remind me of my uncle who just passed away. Because um, his wife used to plant a bunch of these in the garden. And when I was younger, I would visit them a lot in Macedonia. Let's go over here. Let's see. So these flowers reminded me of him. Ah, uh, yeah, these dahlias. They're bushy, but they need water, too. So let's go ahead. Hey, Paco. Let's go ahead and water these as well. These are pretty sturdy, so I'm not so concerned about spritzing them like this. But, yeah, I still do, because it's just easy, convenient. <coughs> I'm coughing because I've been working in the yard, in the gardens, and just tilling the soil, and all that dust came up. So there you go, pretty easy if you don't want to destroy your new flowers and all of these 
are going to be ready to put in the soil by May. But I'm going to be honest, I think this is the last time I'm planting seeds naturally and just growing them naturally. Because <sighs> it takes a lot of work and it's just a lot of time, energy, water, etc. So let's go over here and see what I did. I ended up pulling all this grass here like it used to be a few years ago and making room for this. Although this is not the ideal soil for these. I know some of them are eventually going to die because I have, if you haven't noticed, very sandy soil. I mean, the water is literally like <coughs> probably three to seven feet below me max. So it's very beachy, sandy soil. So let's go over here. Then I put one here in the pot. My lavenders are doing phenomenal. And there's the yellow. There's my rosemary, and then there's another one. So that is what I am doing, and I also just bought a grill cover. So that's done officially. The food was delicious from the grill, so it's all coming together now, slowly but surely. So let me show you what else I did. So I think you already saw this. You can see how sandy the soil is, right? I took some of this soil from the garden area and put it in the pots because I want to experiment and see what works, what doesn't work. So I don't care if it dies. I don't care if it doesn't last. This is a, an experiment for a reason. I'm trying not to use topsoil. I pulled all the weeds. And Lord, there were tons of them all around. Like they were eating away at my aloes too. Look how amazing it got like it, it is so abundant so i put all the orange marigolds along here i kind of had to angle it this way because there is currently this um what do you call it uh, dill i believe so i pulled out the weeds and then i have my mint still here i have bunch of mint all over there and then I have one more marigold there my lavender's been there these got stepped on while the workers were doing my roof so it's not perfect but at least it's surviving so it's just a matter of time when it comes together and these are my uh, this and this actually are the same plant they're the uh, morning glories so look how quickly and abundantly and yes i also planted these as just seeds as you probably remember so i'm very proud of myself <laughs> so now that the roof is done they have to come and repair these scratches from the hurricane that the shutters did damage there and in the front and then they're gonna work on my lights and yeah surprisingly my gutters made it so uh, my stepdad's gutter company is really good that means he has very nice, durable gutters. All right. My hibiscus is growing like crazy, as always. It's seriously abundant. Oh my god, my skin, you can probably see it's burnt high <laughs> from so much sun. So there you go, guys. I did trim these rose bushes weeks ago. It did get taller, but um, no roses, really, yet. I've been watering this like just persistently as with my other plants and um, I just have to be patient. Usually they pop around spring slash summer, sometimes into the fall. And let's go check out my um, other plants I water. So this bush got a little taller. So, and here is the palm tree, which it's also gotten quite tall, actually, and wide. But I do have to chop this one, and now probably this one. Yeah, I'm gonna go do that now, actually, while I'm still here, um, so that it can continue to grow. All right, there we go. I used a sheet metal cutter to slice two of the 
palms and now it's more clean looking. I can tell this one's about to go next when it starts to lean and yellow like that. But now it's going to really start thriving.